Hallo zusammen. Today we definitely need to take a closer look at Rammstein's song Adieu. What is it about and what makes it special linguistically speaking? What can you learn from it from a German language learning point of view? Let's check it out. I know what many of you thought when you heard this song for the first time, when you listened to it in depth and when you actually looked at the lyrics and maybe you even understood a few of them because there is an English term in there that is also related to the rest of the lyrics somehow. But I can assure you that this song Adieu by Rammstein is not a goodbye from the band to their audience. According to guitarist Paul Landers, that is not the case. And this is what he had to say. Der Track Adieu sei aber kein Song, der ein Ende von Rammstein andeuten soll. Alle Bandmitglieder haben noch eine Menge Spaß mit Rammstein. And with that being said, a disclaimer, this song may deal with sadness, loss, death. But what do the German lyrics of Adieu mean exactly? Let's begin with the first verse. Nur der Tod wird alle Zeit. Er flüstert unterm Tannenzweig. Muss alles in sein Dunkel ziehen. Sogar die Sonne wird verglühen. What's interesting, linguistically speaking, and this is common for all German nouns, they have at least one specific gender, even if it's something that is an object or something abstract. Just because it's an item or an idea doesn't mean it's a neuter noun automatically. In this case, the fundamental term and subject der Tod, death, is a masculine noun, der Tod, which also explains why in my intentionally, quite literal English translation, I also used related English masculine pronouns. He, his, instead of it or its. You know, thinking about it, I guess this is one of the most depressing and sad, impactful lines in any Rammstein song to date that I can think of, because it basically states something that is very obvious, but not everyone thinks about all the time, which is only death lasts forever. Death is eternal, you know, and there is no way around it. However, the song also has brighter moments within this context, so don't worry. Generally speaking, it's a very graceful song, which doesn't shy away from explaining the sadness and helplessness of losing someone. But it also manages to highlight that people do grieve and through doing so, still care and won't forget the past person. This first verse, though, is very dark overall, but it manages to set a thought-provoking, melancholic mood. It basically sets the stage. The lyrical eye explains how they perceive death and how it's obvious, at least to us human beings, that it exists, but neither can we grasp it, nor can we know where, when and how it reaches someone, including us. I guess that is what the second line may refer to, not just because of the flüstert, whispers, which itself accentuates how death can hide, but also because of the fir tree reference, which reminds me of someone either dying alone in the woods or on Christmas, maybe I'm completely off here. And you know, that's the beauty of lyrics. Often you can interpret them in various ways. And there is no wrong or right. Even if your own interpretation may diverge heavily from the lyricist and their intention. The verse also paints death as an everlasting principle that is even stronger than time, physics and the universe itself. Because you know, even stars die, and our sun, as a very bright and big star, is no exception. We may not think about that too much, except we're an astronomer or physicist of course, but it's true. The pre-chorus, however, sheds a few rays of light and hope onto the scenario. Doch keine Angst, wir sind bei dir. Ein letztes Mal, so singen wir. This is where dying becomes a personal topic. And in this case, the dying person seems to be surrounded by people who want to come and support them by being there. This hopeful and sort of uplifting pre-chorus then leads into the six-line chorus. Adieu, goodbye, auf Wiedersehen. Den letzten Weg musst du alleine gehen. Ein letztes Lied, ein letzter Kuss. Kein Wunder wird geschehen. Adieu, goodbye, auf Wiedersehen. Die Zeit mit dir. Schön. This chorus, as the meat of the song, basically embodies what I really like about this tune in specific. Till Lindemann, the lyricist and singer of Rammstein, the frontman, basically manages to express a certain amount of reality 
he describes what is going on, you know, that death and dying is saying goodbye. However, and that's basically my point here, is that he sort of through the wording and the phrasing especially, he conveys that in a very graceful way, I think. It's that sense of camaraderie that is highlighted here, which is also self-referential, of course. This song could also in some way refer and relate back to Highfish, which is another song, an ode to the band themselves and to sticking together, really being a team. And if one member were to, you know, break away from that, it wouldn't be the same. The first line also reveals one of the many possible German ways of saying goodbye. What's interesting about the specific and very common German choice is that, literally speaking, Auf Wiedersehen translates to see you again, implying there is gonna be at least an expected or quite probable second meetup vis-a-vis. -vis. However, and that's also possible and you know, happens all the time, basically. Germans may also say that when they can't know or can't be certain to see that other person again, ever. That shows how common that phrase has become and how commonly we use that, even though we may not use it in the intended or literally intended way. And what's even more interesting is that there is another specific version mainly for phone calls or situations without seeing each other and only hearing each other. Auf Wiederhören. Hear you again, basically. Other really common daily German phrases for der Abschied, singular, die Abschiede, plural, the farewell, include tschüss, the most basic one, basically a German version of goodbye or bye, or a more colloquial version Ciao! And very slang, hau rein! Literally meaning, hit into it! <laughs> Doesn't make sense in English, but yeah, it, it basically means, you know, yeah, go for it! Let's go! Goodbye! You may have noticed the strange word order in the English translation of the second line. I thought about expressing it differently at first, but firstly, it's the exact equivalent of the German line, and secondly, it also keeps a certain poetic and creative nature that way. The song then continues with the second verse. Aus dem Leben steigst du leise. Die Seele zieht auf stille Reise. Fleisch vergeht, Geist wird sich heben. Das Sein wird sich dem Tod ergeben. Ja. I'm not the biggest fan of repeating myself, but sometimes I just gotta do it. And this is one of those times because it's so graceful the way Till Lindemann manages to express these things. It's a really delicate topic. It's a really sad topic, depressing topic, of course. But he manages to also highlight the hopeful, positive parts sticking together in good and in bad times. You know, both sides of the same coin. And that is what really matters at the end of the day. Even my PC agrees. What separates this verse from many other Rammstein verses and other songs is that often Till Lindemann makes use of poetic words, like outdated terms for instance, contractions or examples of an ellipsis to evoke a specific ambiance. Here he rather achieves that by using a poetic overall phrasing instead of single words. For instance, all words in line 2 are common terms, but because he combines them and sets them into the exact same context, the line as a whole has a nice poetic ring to it. The same is true for the third line, especially the verb heben, in combination with a spirit that lifts itself. This line also underlines the dualism of body and mind. Both are intertwined with each other, yet in death, the idea of the soul or spirit living on is something that can be very hoffnungsvoll, hopeful. And it also can trost spenden, to give comfort, in times of die Trauer, sadness or grief. An equally interesting phrasal perspective can be found in the fourth line, since the phrasing suggests that death wins over life, and basically life as the state of being or existing as a living, breathing, active creature has to hand itself over to death at some point, inevitably, implying death always remains the superior principle. This is also a direct reference to the metaphor, the idea of memento mori, you know, remember and keep in mind that you will die, that you are mortal. In German, bedenke, dass du sterblich bist, 
which not only works in the microcosm of the song, but also in the macrocosm of the whole album, especially in reference to another song like Zeit, which is basically about the same topic. And also Carpe Diem, you know, make good use of the day, nutze den Tag. Don't waste your time. The simple interjection, ja, yes, as an affirmative expression, could be interpreted in the sense of, yes, I realize I can't change the rules of existence, I will give in to dying when it's time, but it's okay. Or it could also be interpreted from the death's perspective and it looks forward to collecting another soul and by doing so serves their own purpose. The second pre-chorus differs from the first and basically sums up or concludes the star contrast and somehow seemingly paradox situation. Am Ende bist du ganz allein. Doch wir werden bei dir sein. This relation also gets underlined linguistically by using the second person singular personal pronoun and informal form of address du, you, as opposed to the first person plural personal pronoun wir, we. What's also worth noting is that this observation or opinion is expressed by the lyrical I or, once again in this case, the lyrical us or the lyrical we, since it's multiple people here instead of the person dying. It's the idea of thoughts and prayers commemorating for jemandes Gedenken and as a verb that requires the genitive, for instance here jemandes, to commemorate someone or the phrase in Gedenken an, in memory, remembrance or commemoration of. The bridge basically functions as another pre-chorus, raising the rather personal and direct addressing in the previous sections to a more general, grander level by using the indefinite pronoun jeder everyone or everybody. Jeder stirbt für sich allein. Ganz allein. Doch du wirst immer bei uns sein. At the same time, the first line also stresses how in the end, the process of dying is something very personal and individual. Even though death affects all of us, living, breathing beings. I guess that once again refers to a certain contrasting dualism that is sort of inherent in this topic, you know. It's a universal thing, but it's very personal at the same time. And it happens in various different individual ways at the end of the day. Adieu is the perfect last song of the album, I think, for various reasons. Depending on the listener, of course, and how much they want to invest in terms of time and focus, listening to the lyrics and listening to the song, not just hearing it, reflecting their own experiences with loss and sadness and grief and regret. Because that is so philosophical and sophisticated and thought-provoking, it just is a great last statement. I guess it's one of those Rammstein songs that may not be the personal favorite of too many people. It's not the heaviest, it's not the softest, it's basically in between. And even though the musical side of things, the ambience, the arrangement, is top-notch, you know, it's really ethereal in a way, you know, it underlines the heaviness, the linguistic heaviness, and therefore it may be one of those songs that international fans that are not capable of understanding or speaking German themselves may not like as much because it may not give them all too much. I could be wrong about this, but to me, as a native German speaker, it really touches me in a way, you know, and uh, that's also a sign of great art. With that said, definitely also check out my video description with my social media handles, links and whatever support options for the channel such as patreon.com slash definitely. That is a great way to support my channel apart from liking, commenting, sharing and of course also subscribing for more because there's gonna be more Rammstein content in the future apart from other things as well of course. Thanks for watching, tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.